welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're gonna lay some brick on a fence we're gonna build some pier with some brick so let me give you a look of what we're gonna do here today so this is the brick that we're going to use today this is a concrete brick we have here the measurement is three by nine inches a sidewall here before there was a timber fence the homeowner decided that they want to change it to to, um, to block and brick. So here we're gonna put um we're gonna put our, our pier, and so we have four of them along here. We have another one here. This post here we have to cut it out because after we run our line, we realize it's not lining up with the other ones. The concrete is not lovely; it's on a slope as well. So I have my model ready to go. I'm going to show you guys how to catch the level for a foundation when the concrete is not level so stay tuned for that so here I have my brick stocked up ready to go okay guys so let's get started first thing you want to do guys we want to check to make sure our, 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 our post is plumb because we're going to work beside um, them we know we need to come over a little bit. So what we're gonna do now guys, we're gonna check. So we're gonna run our line. This is a line block. We're gonna run our line from here, go all the way down to the other arm here. Just to check to see if all of the posts are lined up in line. So as you can see guys, you see that post there is way out of line. So that's why it's very important to check. As you see that one there. That one is out of line. Those the other ones are are lined up. They're lined up with um with the tree. So that one we're gonna have to find a way to push it over. Because if we don't then the, the, the pier it's gonna be out of line in one hall for them to line up in one. This one we wanna go as thin as possible as we can. The reason for that this this side is on a high. This side is high and the foundation is on a slope because the whole morning homeowner did the foundation so he just throw the concrete <laughs> inside it's fine it's my it's a good guy <clears throat> I'm not complaining bring a square come for me papa Okay guys, so we want to make sure we square this. Very important to have it square. This is your first column that you're doing. So this one is out of line, then all of them is going to be. So we want to make sure we square this a uh, 100% square. Once this one square, all the other one should um, square pretty easily looks square to me doing this guys trust me you don't have to keep putting your level every course as you go along like this it's gonna automatically plumb once you plumb it just the way I show you a while ago Go 
guys, what we're doing now, we're squaring. We want to make sure we square all of them together. What, what I'm doing right now, as you see, I, um, I put my line from, from right here and I bring it all the way down there just to um, so after we finish this one we're gonna line up the other the other tree it should be good okay Sanjay good so here we want to mark because this is where the square we square off this is where it's square so we want to mark it before we remove it even though we're gonna square it again but at least you have an idea of where it was before I want to check to see if this post is plumb. Oh man, it's way out of plumb. It's way out, guys. Okay, guys. So basically, what I just did. Here is a pier down there, a column down there. What I did, I um, I put a line from there and I catch the level from the last post because, like, you can either do it this way. Or you can do it from the top, it's gonna to be the same result. So now we're gonna we know that this right here is our is our first this is where our first brick gonna start. So one so two. So we have to put the first post that's gonna go here have to be tight. After we lay our first one then we're gonna square it again. So this is just the leveling, just to know where it's going to be. Here we'll get you our first course so now. We're gonna square it. So here we have quarter inch. As you see here, so basically we need to knock in. We need to knock in this corner over more like this. In order to get it to be to square. Now we we'll check to see if it's square. We're gonna check it like this. So this is how you square your 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 pillow. So we already built we already built that one down there. So basically we're catching our square from that one. As you see, I put my my line from that one come all the way down. There you check to see if it's good with that with the post. It's it's perfect with the post. Here you want to put your square hell with the, 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 the this this wall here go all the way down and, and see that see we have our line we have our line I just see the square on square with our line so it's perfectly level As you see, we're right on our level. This is the level here that we have here from, from the level down there, the first post down there. So now we're right on our level. So now all we have to do is just work the same size joint from the previous column and then we should be fine.
knock you in a little bit this way. So this line, I have this line run from the, 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 the column at the front and the column at the back. And then we have two in the middle here. So we're, we're catching the one in the middle now. So you basically want to string the line from, from both columns. And then you catch you, you put your square like this to square this one here. So it's perfectly square. Just check this side. This side is square as well. Side columns. Gonna screw it from this one. As you go along guys, you want to check to make sure you're square. This, this brick here. So you just try and check every now and again to make sure. It's good, it's perfect. Where is my lever? So 
now we're gonna do our joints guy. Remember you wanna do the head joints first. Always. Then you do the mid joint. After you finish your head joint, you start from the end in, from the from the head in just like so. You don't wanna go like this, because you're gonna break the heads from the, the joint. So work your way in, work your way in. It's all time. The reason for that is help to prevent the heads from breaking off. Video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. We have lots more videos like this coming up. 